All right, hey guys, it's JT at Waterford Mitsubishi. I got the great 2021 Mitsubishi Outlander. This one here is a plug-in electric vehicle. I'm gonna go over some details with you guys. Let's come on and dive into it. All right, first one to look at here is the grill. Black bold grill right here in the front. You got your Outlander right here on the top of the hood. Mitsubishi three diamond logo right there as well. You take a look at the headlights there. You're gonna have your daytime LED running lights there. Also daytime headlights daytime, I mean your LED um, fog lights down here as well too. If we take a look around the side here, you got your plug-in electric vehicle badging right here on the side. Mitsubishi decided to go with the 18 inch chrome wheels here on this GT model. You got your chrome down here at the bottom as well as it wraps around the vehicle on the other side too. One thing I like to point out, you got your quick access button here that unlocks and locks your car just with a press of a button as long as you have that key fob on you, that's going to be in your driver and passenger side doors. We have the optional roof racks on the GT model here too. These can be added to any model. Um, that's just an extra accessory we got there. Uh, as we continue to go around, <clears throat> a neat feature I just found out about this vehicle is your, your electric um, outlets here that you can't get to. It locks with the vehicle, and you can just unlock that by just unlocking the vehicle. You get right in there to your charging. Level one and level two, as well as DC fast charging is available on this vehicle. You can get that DC fast charging to 80% in just 20 minutes on this vehicle. Very good, and as well as charge your car at home, level one, eight hours only takes to charge this vehicle to full charge. Now, as we take a look back here at the tailgate, you have a power tailgate. Just with a press of a button, we're gonna get it to open. Plenty of cargo space. We got plenty of cargo space back here. Um, your back seats laid down, 60-40 splitting, so you can get more stuff back there if you need to. Um, one neat feature that I like about this vehicle <clears throat> is the 1500 watt outlet right here. If you guys know anything about watts and what's available in vehicles, you would know that 1500 watts for a plug-in in a car, is, it's, it's amazing. You know, we're, we're taking a step into the future here with Mitsubishi and, and allowing us to have that in this vehicle. As we keep going around, I'm gonna let this down. You have our locking gas cap here too. You can only access this from inside the vehicle. So that's another neat safety feature you got there or security feature. Um, we we'll take a look at the back seat here. Like I said, 60-40 split folding seats. You got your diamond stitching, very neat there in the back seats. You also have a 1500 plug-in watt in the center console in the rear, as well as a USB um, plug-in for you too. So that pretty much wraps up the exterior of the vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and hop inside and we're gonna go over a few things on the interior. Alrighty guys, here we are inside the 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. Um, just one thing I wanted to go over before we get into the interior is the mirrors. The mirrors have a ton of things going on. Um, one thing has got the LED turn signals integrated right there. Um, we got blind spot indicator as well. And you also have cameras underneath your mirrors. And we're going to get into why the cameras are underneath your mirrors here in a second. Um, but let's go ahead and take a dive into what this vehicle has to offer us um, in the 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander. Alrighty guys, it's JT here in the 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. I wanted to take a second and wanted to look at some of these things in the interior that might go you know, unnoticed. Um, first thing I want to take a look at is the door panel. You take a look there, it has the carbon fiber look. Um, as well as the leather stitching with the black trim there. It's very, very nice looking. Some things that you don't get on other models, even on their top levels. Um, you take a look here at the seat. Diamond stitching, it's a leather seats all the way throughout. And you get the diamond, you see Mitsubishi pays attention to detail. They put the diamond stitching right there on your leather seats. You take a look here, we have dual climate control right here on the center console. We make our way down. Um, carbon fiber finish here on the um, center console as well. Right here you have your Outlander um, PHEV logo right there. Save charging, EV modes, all of those they put right here in, in reach so you don't have to reach around the vehicle when you're changing to those things. Another thing Mitsubishi is known for is their super all wheel control. Um, this thing broke five records in the snow and ice. So they added that to this EV vehicle. And as you guys can see, we have a twin motor button right here. And that's for our four wheel drive. And what Mitsubishi done there is just basically take their um, record breaking technology and put it in their EV. And that's a great thing to have here in Michigan um, and you know, Northern states. The, being 
staying safe in the winter time is very very important to us um, as well as the sport button here I like to have fun and then a vehicle like this you can throw it into sport you guys know these electric vehicles you get that torque on tap so putting this vehicle in the sport mode is very very fun you have a lot of fun in that another button you see down here is your high and low um, heated seats you can adjust it from high to low down there you have your parking brake there as well and as well as your auto hold that keeps the vehicle stopped while you're you know not with your foot on the brake now there's some great things that I like about the interior of the vehicle not really getting into the features but we're going to take a dive in that just in a few minutes so let's go ahead and dive into the interior and like the features and the safety features and things like that and um let's keep it rolling Alrighty guys, well first thing I want to go over first is what everyone cares about in their vehicle is the safety features. Um, you want to keep your family safe as well as yourself. Um, so one thing that this vehicle has that I really like is your adaptive cruise control. So adaptive cruise control is going to keep the vehicle set at whatever you set it at on the highway and you can change the distance between the car in front of you and your vehicle. And all you have to do is set your um, cruise control here and you can adjust with just this simple button right there on the steering wheel. And it's one feature I love, especially for people that commute on the highway. Um, the adaptive cruise control is something I really like. You have blind spot indicators on your mirrors. It's something I went over on the mirrors. As well as you got heated steering wheel. Um, you got lane departure warning, forward collision. I mean, this thing is loaded with so many safety features and convenience features. Um, I mean, it's going to keep you happy as long as you have it. Now, one thing I like about this vehicle here, and if you're new to you know plug-in hybrids, if you're new to the range, if you're new to all those things, this vehicle keeps you you know basically in the loop of what you know what's going on, how many miles you have, what's your range currently, what's going on with the power, the battery, all those things. So you're never you know confused or anything like that as far as what's going on with your electric motor, your gas, your miles, things like that. Now one thing I do want to point out here, this vehicle is on a full charge. As you can see, our EV range based on the mileage or how I've been driving is 30 miles. Now that's about the max that this vehicle gets on a full charge. Now keep in mind, uh, most people do drive about 20 to 25 miles to work. So ideally you can drive to work and back to work on just one charge um, and not even use your gas. Um, I know the max on this is about 320 miles, including that gas on the EPA. That's just the estimated and depends on your driving. Um, but this vehicle does get you know pretty good gas mileage and pretty good EV range um, for plug-in hybrid. Um, and from there, I'm going to keep going. Um, we got a 360 view camera. Um, like I was going over the cameras under the mirror, um, it gives you some different views and you can switch by just a press of a button and get some different views. Now that's something I really like, you know, when you're bagging up, when you're pulling into parking spots, you can switch between those camera views and, you know, get a good idea of where you are without, without getting out the vehicle or anything like that. Um, we have a sunroof in here too, for the people that like sunroofs. We got that too. This is the GT, like I said, the fully loaded model. Um, and all these things you're going to get for an MSRP of around 45 grand. Now, this is our top of the line model. And if you compare these to, you know, your big three or anything like that, you're going to be looking well above 60 grand for a plug-in hybrid that's loaded like this. Um, so, like I said, we start around 36 on this vehicle and you make your way up as you, you know, begin to add things. But for this vehicle, for the things that you get compared to, you know, what else is out there with our competitors, it, it's, there's no other thing that compares to it. And then you add in the, the value that the warranty brings, the 100, the 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. I mean, they're second, it's second to none. Um, like I said, if you've got any questions or anything about this vehicle, feel free to reach out to me. I'm JT at Waterford Mitsubishi. Again, this is the 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. Thanks you guys for watching.